you two. You're quick. What about the little one? We didn't bring Eos because we're not heading into any hollows. We let it rest during these types of commissions. Uh, too bad. If I'd known, I'd have come up with an excuse to make you bring him along. Not even trying to hide your actual goal, are you? Good kid. Don't worry, these two aren't the bad guys. The logic core that was awakened last time. Have you tried booting it up? Any issues? Don't worry, it's only partially booted for now. After the last troubleshooting session, I've managed to fully filter out the data and divert control of basic functions away from the dangerous infected data. Now I just have to wipe any sensitive data left behind regarding the prototype, and it'll be ready for the delivery to Three Gates. Barry, can you help with clearing the sensitive data? Negative. All logic cores that pass the Forbidden Fruit Test i.e., the core systems of AI-enabled machinery, are incompatible with my protocols. Forced intervention can have unforeseen consequences. Also, I prefer not to interact with ether-corrupted data. It's rare to see her retreat from a request like this. Fairy, why would you refuse to access data corrupted by ether? I've prepared ten disgusting metaphors to explain it to you. Which would you like to hear first? Note. Human tolerance is limited to about 10 on the disgust scale. What's the score of the least disgusting one? 11. No thanks, I'll pass. This commission doesn't require your faith in disguise. You two alone can handle it. I'm gonna debug this kid's cognitive command system. Only a few basic protocols are needed to set up a link between commands and its behavior. Put simply, I'll issue commands like go left, go right, touch this, touch that, and you'll need to follow my instructions in front of it so that it understands the connection between the commands and the actions. Once cognition is established, act out the commands from the kid to help solidify it. It's like teaching a toddler how to crawl or stand up. Got it? I'll run some system tests on this baby first. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Job. Well done! 
The cognitive commands have been recorded with precision. My only regret is that my little cutie Eos couldn't make it here today. <sighs> the whole point of setting up this scheduled maintenance was an excuse to see that roly-poly kiddo running around. Grace, you've made that quite obvious. All right, the controls have been sufficiently calibrated. Now I'll perform a full reboot to test the effects. A full reboot, huh? Hope it's not going to lose control again. No problem. I'm fully prepared. I've dismissed all the onlookers and kept the kids' fuel to a minimum. And Bellabog Industries has updated their health insurance recently. Uh, you have accident coverage, right? Why am I not feeling reassured? You seem fully prepared for things to go wrong. Don't worry. I'm a professional technician, and I've got everything under control. Let's get started. Very well. The control system permissions are operational. Let's start the first cognitive command test. Go five meters forward. Command unfulfilled. Repeating command. Go five meters forward. That's strange. Why isn't it following my commands? Unless... Unless it really is broken? <gasps> Danger! Bell, get behind me! The battery in my control panel is dead. <sighs> <laughs> no wonder this kid's been so quiet. It wasn't ignoring my commands. It couldn't receive them. <laughs> False alarm. I propose that we ban Grace from ever touching Eos again. Agreed. And all the other bang boo at home. I need to get a backup power supply. Keep an eye on this kid for me, would ya? Its cognition systems are still fragile, so don't provoke it. And don't let anyone get close to it, including yourselves. I have to get back to the store for a moment. Be careful, okay, Belle? Don't panic. The cognitive unit hasn't received any input commands for a while, so the machine's just running a system diagnostic. Betty? What are you doing here? Hmm? Have we met? How do you know me? Uh-oh. I accidentally slipped up. Ah, uh-huh. I see. So you're the Iron Witch's apprentice, aren't you? Which is why you're keeping guard here. Why is the system diagnostic showing such a strong likelihood of startup? Could it be... No, don't get too close! Trust me, I know what I'm doing here. Her machines usually have a soft reset button placed at the back. If I'm able to get there, I can... Oh, no need to be so paranoid, you scrap heap. I am here to save you. I knew it. There was a repeat air loop during the self-diagnostic. Onboard memory was getting sapped, so a soft reboot did the trick. 
<laughs> it's all because of her. Insisting on the stupid logic core is what has caused the problem. Logic core? What's wrong with it? The logic core is a precious technological breakthrough that grants mechanical creations the ability to have independent consciousness, potentially even enlightening a machine enough to pass the forbidden fruit test and be truly endowed the soul of an individual. However, this kind of technology is not required for production tools like industrial machines. I admit that the efficiency and work capacity of Bellabog's heavy machinery are superb, but the cost of production and maintenance is going to be out of this world. Unfortunately, buyers on the market love pursuing these unnecessary and uncontrollable gold-plated features, so the industries followed suit and started researching personality tools. L let me ask you, if you want to make an axe that chops wood faster, will you equip it with jet thrusters, AI systems, and a voice that yells at you, Master, Master, every time you poke it? Eh, sounds a little bit much. L listen up, Apprentice. Tools are just tools. Their value lies in being easy to get, easy to use, and easy to replace. Use them while they're good, and chuck them out once they're broken. Personifying or putting them before humans is heresy. And that's exactly the type of person your teacher is. She's mastered new applications for personified operating systems, and in doing so, has grown contemptuous of humanity. She's just a weirdo obsessed with tools who gets things backwards. Okay. Huh? How is it moving again? Hang on, stop right now. I was being careless just now, not hostile. Ah! Abort startup. Huh, that was a close one, but luckily I caught it. You, didn't I say not to provoke this kid? Mm -hmm. Betty. What are you doing here? Uh, <clears throat> yep, yeah, nothing. Just uh, here to inform you. Three Gates Corp has officially recognized my company's application for tech cooperation. And, well, only one of us will be granted resource support on the evaluation day. Be forewarned, Grace. I see. Well, thanks so much for passing on the message. If there's nothing else, I'll keep tweaking my little problem child, okay? Oh, yeah. And as for you, thanks for your support today. I'll give you a call when I need a hand next time. You can head off now. Uh, see that? Something might have happened just now, but she clearly cared more about the machine than her own apprentice. That's the cold iron witch I know. But it's fine. I'll soon let her know to never take people lightly.